all right hello there welcome back to another wee bit different video today's video we are getting into a top five i've been putting in several hours since i've started playing Yu Gi Oh, and i feel more than comfortable enough to have an opinion on this i'm doing a top five most annoying cards to play against now that's not top five most annoying best cards it's not top five best cards it's not top five this or that it's literally just annoying and now that is very subjective for example an annoying card to you might be a uh, baron de floor right it's annoying to you know have to deal with an negate but i don't think that card's too annoying you know it's very strong of course but that you know is not on the top five spoilers i think annoying cards take away from the game itself and they, they they stop you or they just don't allow you to stop what you're about to deal with i'll get into what i mean a little bit but again this is very subjective and honestly these top five cards i'm going to say are not in any specific order but let's get into it nonetheless first card is the most obvious card i'm going to get it out of the way because this card people say all the time it should have been banned a long time ago and if konami had konami had balls it would be banned drama please for number five and again it's in no specific order i'm just saying number five for reasons that i don't even know myself but anyway drum roll please ba -ba 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 -bum. we got maxi now this comes as no surprise to anyone because this card is hated on and i mean a lot like a lot a lot we're going to get into the effect if you're not familiar with Maxi for any reason. But if you've played this game, I can like promise you you're familiar with Maxi. So the effect is it's an earth monster and an insect for one. Not that that's too relevant. But during either player's turn, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. This turn, each time your opponent special summons a monster, immediately draw one card. So it's banned in the TCG. It's allowed in the OCG, and apparently, according to Decade, he's another Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTuber. According to him, Master Duel most, mostly follows the OCG. So with that in mind, it's no surprise to see that in OCG and in Master Duel, you know, it's both allowed at three. But this card is pretty fucking toxic in the sense that it could be turn one, right? And it's, it's the other person's turn. If I play Max C and they don't have... A call to the grave or anything to negate it they basically have to end their turn after one or two maximum special summons because turn two i will get a turn you can't attack turn one obviously meaning i'm getting who knows how many cards let's say let's say they do two special summons i'm getting two, that's a that's a pot of greed bro that's a pot of greed i know i'm rambling a little bit but that is a pot of greed to literally just do two special summons so that is a problem that I'm trying to put this lightly that konami is afraid of shutting down because at the same time people could also argue maxi is healthy for the game reason being is some decks are just flat out better than others snake eyes does who knows how many special summons right other decks want a chance at someone like snake eyes so maxi people feel like oh that could be balancing out problem is is that those other decks aren't meta if they if they're not being able to special summon special summoning is the most basic of basic things if you don't special summon your decks probably ass anyway and by ass i mean non master non diamond probably plat or lower and there's nothing wrong if you enjoy that the problem in that itself is that maxi meta among meta is fucking obnoxious because it's basically if this maxi goes unchecked by the luck of the draw you're pretty much fucked uh yeah you're 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 pretty much fucked you either negate it or you're fucked because if you allow it to happen and you don't have any trap cards you're you know you end your turn the opponent's just gonna otk you that's just gonna happen so maxi very 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 annoying to deal with I'm not saying it should get banned or it should not get banned. I'm just saying that it is 100% annoying. So card number two, I'm not going to lie. I hate this card so much. Do I think it's necessary? Honestly, it's definitely not ban worthy. 
at all. Like, I don't think this card should ever be banned. But holy shit, it's freaking obnoxious. Drum roll, please. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Our next card is evenly matched. If you're not familiar with this card, I'm surprised. Because at the end of the battle phase, if your opponent controls more cards than you do, you heard correctly, more cards than you do, you can make your opponent banish cards from their field face down. So they control the same number of cards as you. If you control no cards, you can activate this card from your hand. Keyword, hand, from your hand, keywords from your hand. Today I was playing Master Duel, turn one, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be very transparent, I'm gonna be very transparent. I was 100% playing Snake Eyes, I'm grinding for Master. So a lot of people, just by hearing that, they're gonna cheer against me, and that's totally fine. I understand that people hate the meta. But, I did what I did turn one. Come turn two, the guy just goes straight to his battle phase. Straight to his battle phase, ends it, plays his card from his hand, and I just lose all my shit. I was so butthurt. I was like, bro, you've got to be kidding me, man. I had a monster negate. I was going to get to Bar Baron de Flor. I didn't end up doing it because I'm like, what the freak is this doing? It didn't occur to me he was doing what he was doing. So hindsight, I definitely should have used my uh, IP Mascarena, but I didn't. I was like, whatever. I think this dude's just giving up. That's my fault. That's my fault. But at the same time, fuck this card. It is obnoxious. It is annoying. Our next card is a card I see typically on branded decks and not really sure what other decks, but I've seen it a lot in branded. I, I just can't stand this card. It's just a free fuck you to the opposing player. Card number three that is most annoying. Again, not in any specific order, but it's just, it's for sure in the top five, in my opinion. We have Super Palmerization. Discard one card. By the way, it's a quick play spell. Discard one card. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from either field as fusion material. Neither player can activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. That's where the problem comes in, is that I can't respond to it. Let me, res like, if, if this card existed, right, it'd still be good. But the fact that I can't respond to it and I just have to let it happen, not even let it, I'm unwillingly seeing this happen. That is frustrating. I can't tell you how many times people have taken up both my monsters on on my side of the field just to summon whatever monster they actually wanted to summon. All the all they had to do was discard one card. That sucks. This this right here is the definition of frustrating. Like how does it how how does this go through Konami and they say, "Yes, this is the one right here." And it's look, listen, uh, it's not overpowered, but oh my god, it is, it is obnoxious. Branded Espia 66% of decks use three of them. I don't know, Tier Elements uses them, but you know, like I said, branded. Oh, I, I, I hate this card. Okay, this one is our first co cards because if you're using one, you're using the other kind of thing. And a lot of these other cards, you know, they definitely go on decks that they're commonly used in, but they're still good individually. These cards, if you're using one, you're using the other. Let's just, let's just show y'all. Uh, I hate this. Cast here, Fenrir, and Unicorn. I'm counting them as a duo. If you're not familiar with Unicorn, I will get to that card as well. But here it is. There are common cards, but let me just read the effects. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay, already off to an annoying start because it's really just a free special summon turn one. But here's where things piss me off so much. When this card declares an attack, or if your opponent activates a monster effect, you can target one face-up card your opponent controls, banish it face down. 
And for Unicorn, instead of targeting a card you have in the field, you can target a card in their extra deck, which is annoying because this dude for free gets to violate my extra deck. You know, I'm not really so caught up on their, their spell effects. Like this dude can add a spell card to his hand. This dude can add another Castira monster from his deck to his hand. Those don't bother me, right? Because you're, you know, they're building towards the deck. But those effects, just a free banish for doing nothing. Just nothing. Special summon, free. Free banish because my monster is activating an effect. And it's once per turn, like... I can't tell you how many times I've dealt with the Unicorn and they just banish my Promethean Princess. Or if I'm playing Dark Magician deck, they've banished my Chaos Angel. Like... I'm just left there like, what, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> what do I do? I can't tell you how many times I've seen a Fenrir and I'm thinking to myself, okay, I gotta, I gotta get Triple Tactics talent going or something that basically I can react to their effect, but it's best of one. You know, you, you're not prepared for these guys. You don't carry cards that specifically counter them. Cash tier in general is is frustrating <laughs> is very frustrating uh to be honest with you to be very blunt with you my cousin has this deck i don't mind all the other stuff i just hate how easy it is to get these effects going like if it was an extra deck monster i'd be like okay you know these cards this guy does the same shit you know he banishes face down but a card on the field not a monster fenrir is a monster yeah fenrir is a monster you know, these other guys have got annoying effects, but it's like so much harder to get them out. Fenrir and Unicorn are free. So it's like... <sighs> I fucking hate them. Okay, so we got another co-spot. Two cards taking up, you know, the same spot because if you're using one, typically you're using the other. Same scenario here, really. Um, this is probably the two most annoying out of all the cards i don't even see it often every time i do see it i just think to myself why the epitome of, of stupid okay we have goes and match and i have to look at my phone for this because you know the name rivalry of warlords both of those cards let's get into this card first goes and match each player can control only one attribute of monster. Send all other face-up monsters they control. Okay? Now you mix that with Rivalry of Warlords. Rivalry of Warlords is each player can control one type of monster. Send all other face-up monsters they control to the graveyard. So, how that looks. So, where it shows Dark, you can only have one of those. And where it shows Fiend, you can only have Fiend. For example, this guy was out in the field. That is the worst thing in the world to deal with because if you're not familiar with, you know, snake eyes, again, I understand the hate towards snake eyes, especially after bonfire, but I'm gonna show you guys this for the sake of the video. You know, you do have a lot of fire types, right? But then you get to the fact that pyro, machine, whatever, pyro, pyro, and fire, then you get to the fact that for this deck to work, you need to pull from the extra deck, and it's like Promethean's a fiend. Uh, Link Karibo is not even a fire. This is a fire and a fiend. Uh, fire spellcaster. Like, they're all not fire pyros. So this deck's essentially useless if you could only use ash, poplar, um, oak, flamberge is a dragon, so you can't even use him. Like, it's... It's just insane. It's insane dealing with those two cards. Like, who... You have to have, like, Harpy's Feather Duster or some kind of back row, you know, some kind of back row elimination, dis destruction, whatever. The, I don't know how the fucking word this, but you have to be able to get rid of the back row with one of your spells or traps. And most cards in a Snake Eyes deck ain't doing that. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing here that can just pop the back row. You can set this down, then 
activate it and then negate it for a turn with impermanence, but those two cards are probably the bane of my existence. Definitely. Like rivalry of warlords, thank God it's only limited to one and goes goes in matches limited to one in Master Duel. I don't know how that's allowed that three in the OCG. Like this card is just fucking toxic. When you're not allowing someone to do what they want to want to do not because of a negate but because of this where it's just permanent those are my two cents though on the most annoying cards to deal with in master duel now there's probably way more annoying combos decks and all things of the sort but i wanted to clarify that it's just one card now with these co-cards you always run them together like all the time at least from what i've seen Every time I've played them, I've seen them run together. Specifically Unicorn, Venrir, and then Rivalry Warlords and Goes Match. I've always seen them play together. So let me know what you guys think, though. Ultimately, this is a very subjective list. But I feel like my five cards that I listed, I'll, I'll say them out loud again. I have them written down. Maxi, Evenly Matched, Super Polymerization, Kest here, Fenrir slash Unicorn, and Goes and Match slash rivalry of warlords i fucking hate those cards but let me know what you guys think as always i greatly appreciate you guys for watching this is all we've been different all we've been different and we out <laughs>